Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. Today we're going to be finally doing this. We're going to dunk some GPUs into this mineral oil and we're going to do a bit of testing to see how well this actually works. Now, I have not done any testing like this in the past. I've done a little bit of research for those of you that have been interested in this. You probably Googled around a little bit, watched some YouTube videos and done some reading. That's about what I've done. Now, I did get in touch with a 3M engineer who has an enterprise grade immersion fluid that you can use. And let me be 100% clear, this I do know. If you're wanting to do this right and you're wanting to do this with the capital that you would need to really do it right, you want to get an enterprise grade fluid like something that they would offer. And I can put a link in the show notes to what they've got. And they've got a whole process in place. They won some awards and things like that, as I understand it. But I really want to just kind of go through this and learn from the ground up. So what I am doing is I'm starting out with some mineral oil and uh, we are using a couple of our lowest end GPUs. So these are AMD 470 8 gigabyte cards. Now, these are not cards that have been out there for years and years. These are only about a year old, I believe. And I picked them up brand new, even though it's an older model. I got these out of a batch of five. And they were only about 80, 85 bucks each, which is crazy. It makes me wish I had bought a lot more of them right now. But, um, you know, that fact aside, these are probably the lowest cost GPUs. And if anything goes wrong, uh, these are the ones I would feel the least bad about losing. And this is definitely not a time you want to lose any GPUs, but you know what I'm saying. So this is what I'm going to do my experimentation with to get started. Now, initially, I'm just going to emerge one GPU. And then on our test rig, our studio test rig that we have here uh, that we've used in the past, we're going to have a second, the exact same model GPU that's going to be here in the studio. Uh, not e submerged. That way we can get a good idea of with and without. And then we're going to try getting various techniques in place of moving the mineral oil, of trying to cool it. And we're not going all out right from the very beginning. I want to try a variety of things and kind of learn as I go. We've got uh, mineral oil. I think I've got six gallons total. I've got two GPUs that we're going to use to get started with. I've got a um, aquarium starter kit that I picked up uh, from Walmart and there's a few items in here that we probably won't use. And then I did order a few things off of Amazon like these little grids you see right here and the idea is if this works is that this will be my spacer inside for the GPUs once they end up in the fish tank and I'll have to figure out a way to attach each GPU. To these as they go in the fish tank and hopefully that works the way I'm thinking that it will. I do have this submersible water pump right here and the idea I think I'm going to go for initially is just to get the mineral oil moving and see what that does in a controlled studio environment so we're not out in the shed where things get up to 90 degrees and 100 degrees. So in here where it's 70 to 73 degrees we're going to do some simple testing and this is what I'll use to get started. Now, I'm gonna do a few other things in some upcoming videos. Like I think I want to do some testing with a second fish tank. I wanna to try to cool the mineral oil that's in that and then have it move from one tank to the next and see how well that, that process may work for us. And yeah, just experiment a bit here. So let me do this. Let me start getting things unboxed unpackaged. I'm going to clean these GPUs up just a little bit and get us ready to get going here. All right, we got the fish tank unboxed. We got all of this stuff that came out in the kit. Some of this we don't need. It does come with this little filter and pump right here. I think we'll see if there's anything we can do to make that work for us. We've got this lid, which we may keep. I'm not 100% sure, depending on the setup at the end. Maybe I can drape some cables over the side and this will you know, allow for that to go down into the fluid. So we'll keep that, all the fish stuff, 
Sorry, fishes. Don't need it. Fish food. Don't need it. And LED lights. Don't need it. Well, maybe. Um, yeah. So this doesn't quite have the dimensions that I was looking for. And I was wanting to use these somehow as a, a grid, a separator, and a support for the GPUs. So I think I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit and maybe trim them down. I've never worked with these before. Um, just sort of an impulse buy, and I've got these to help secure some stuff to the sides of the tank on the interior so yeah i'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit all right here we go so i took a bit of trimming here and kind of fitting this uh, in place and i sort of have what i want and what i'm looking for and then the idea would be that i will have several of these going across just helping divide i don't know maybe five gpus my five 478 gigabytes to get started but I'm sure that those of you that have this stuff and have worked with these fish tanks before you're probably yelling at me right now and I don't know if this will stay but this is kind of what I was looking for so I'm gonna give this a shot and see if I can make this work all right so a couple things real quick I figured out uh, when I was placing the GPU in the tank here to get it aligned with a support and I was going to try to figure out whether to get zip ties in on it or what I kind of figured out that uh, just by setting this on the bottom I was able to take the screw plate that is on the GPU itself and just slide it right into the slot on the suction cups here so I think for this first test with just one GPU in here I'm gonna try this because I mean it's it's pretty secure it's pretty firm in here and a couple things I wanted the orientation to be what you see right now versus the tail end sticking up because uh, I may be able to get away this is a 10 gallon tank here with only using about three to four gallons of mineral oil to cover the GPUs here in the bottom now the more I have I'm thinking the easier it will be to cool but at least for the initial test here I'm gonna kinda of try with this orientation and see what happens and then the other thing I wanted to point out was uh, you know a lot of the standard USB cables that we have that come with our risers are about two feet long maybe and I had to go out into the mining shed and pull one of my longer I think this is a four foot a four foot long USB cable right here out and swap it with one of my uh, shorter USB cables and that way I've just got plenty of leeway as I'm testing here and coming up over the edge down into the fish tank so I think next what I'm going to do is power this on with one GPU before we get any mineral oil in there just to confirm it's been maybe a month or so since I've used the studio test rig here and then <laughs> I will uh, yeah we're gonna try putting the mineral oil in there with it so I'm getting more and more nervous the closer we get okay guys so we are up and running everything is looking pretty good <laughs> uh, from the hardware side we are all set and I've just got the one GPU set up right now and ultimately I think at the end of this test we'll have the second external GPU outside of the tank set up right here on this test rig I have the power from the server power supply and the ATX power supply coming into this power strip in case something happens and we get a random surge. And then I also have this Tekken Wi-Fi switch here so I can remotely power this on and off uh, so I can stand away from it. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me get started powering, powering all this down and getting it prepped so I can get the mineral oil put in here so you can see we've got the 470 right here and we're at 29.29 mega hash using Phoenix Miner on Hivon. And you can see our temperature is at 62 degrees, which isn't great, but we only have the temperature, or excuse me, we only have the fan set at 50%. And right now Hive's got it at 47%. So let's take a quick look at the other 470s that are out in the mining shed so let's see here we're at 29 there's one at 29.29 yeah it's at 64 degrees Fahrenheit as well 
even though it's right about the same temperature even though we are in a controlled studio test environment here but I'll also have the second GPU on the exterior not submerged that we'll be able to benchmark this up against but 62 is our number right out of the gate here all right on our temperature sensor here on the external side of the tank this has a probe that goes down inside so this will be submerged right here and currently we're at 97 degrees Fahrenheit all right hold on to your butts okay here we go That's one gallon. What do you think? Should we do six? Why not? Let's go ahead and do six. All right, there we go. Six gallons in. And you know what? Now that I'm uh, thinking about this it's worth mentioning I did a little bit of reading and as far as the fans go you know some people leave those on I've seen them left on in some trial testing and a lot of people just take those off but one of the things that I did read was that the thermal paste in here will kind of degrade over time and actually can create heat issues over you know months and then into years so I think what I'm gonna do again, just as a learning, is maybe every month I'm gonna take this thing out, take it apart, and just kinda of see what happens to a GPU over time. All right, so here we go. All right, three, two, one. This is just insane. <laughs> All right, there's fans, does that look like they're spinning a little slow? Kinda of does. All right, so we'll keep an eye on the temperature here, learn together as we go here. But yeah, this thing's up, it's running. Let's let it run for maybe five, 10 minutes here and let it get a baseline and I'll be back. Okay guys, this is really crazy. It has been up and it's been mining for about maybe 10 minutes or so. And if you, I'll zoom in, let's see if you can see this right here. The temperature inside at the probe is 77.5 degrees Fahrenheit and the results in Hive are even better actually I would say shocking but you know keep in mind this is a controlled environment I'm in the studio the temperature inside here is maybe about 72 73 degrees Fahrenheit here in the room uh, but golly this is just really impressive right out of the gate and it, it's one GPU again set setting expectations very low but let me uh, let me jump over to Hive and show you the difference from what we saw just a few minutes ago before we submerged this in the mineral oil all right here we are in Hive and you can see the fan I'm not sure how relevant that is right now but it's at 47 percent and look at this we're still at 29.29 mega hash and look at that temperature 39 degrees and this is Celsius this is Celsius right here so we just dropped over 20 degrees Celsius I'm going to go ahead and get that second GPU connected externally so we can do a little comparison alright guys so I've let this run for a couple of hours now through dinner and Man, this has been interesting. I've been playing around in here with different configurations and different settings, and uh, I'm trying to put this pump in here right now and blow directly into the fan. So I think what I'm going to do is in an upcoming video, I'm going to experiment a bit with uh, cooling because I don't really have a good mechanism right now to uh, cool the mineral oil that's in there. And I'm, I've got a couple of ideas and a couple of different things I want to try. Uh, the easiest of which is to add a radiator. But I do want to show you without any of that, let me uh, come over here to Hive and show you the difference in these two cards. So we do have the one card on the exterior now, 
and they're both running about 29 golly exactly 29.29 mega hash and the card that is submerged is at 45 degrees celsius and the one that is not is at 50 degrees celsius so five degrees celsius difference with no real cooling uh, in the fluid at all so I'm going to experiment with that and I'm going to keep at this probably for a number of videos. So if you guys have any suggestions, any ideas, anything that you want me to try moving forward, let me know because this is, uh, it feels really unnatural. Like it's really, really weird uh, getting your hands in there and handling electronics down in fluid. So even if I don't use this long term, you know, I don't know, but it's, it's just, such a learning experience it's it's fun it's different it's a little bit scary but <laughs> yeah so i'll keep at it guys uh i'll keep testing and we'll see you in an upcoming video thanks so much for watching take care